welcome to my channel today i'll be doing a video on how i got into the illustrious Bowman college you know my dream school so first i'll start off by saying Spelman looks at um, your application holistically. And if you see me looking down, sorry, like I have my computer here with my notes and stuff. So Spelman looks at your application holistically. And so the main parts I would say that the application consists of are your grades, like the coursework and GPA, and then your extracurricular activities and community service. And also, the last part would be your personal essay. So this year, since y'all don't have to submit um, the SAT, ACT, it'll just be over like your grades, extracurriculars and community service, and your personal essay. So I'll just go into my personal stuff and you know, how I got in school had three choices for students and so it was either partial IV, full IV, or two years at a community college and you get your associates. So I chose to do full IV just because I wanted to stay at school. Don't ask me why. But yeah, so I would recommend taking IB, AP, or dual enrollment courses just to show Spelman that you're able to handle rigorous courses because Spelman courses are kind of hard. <laughs> So, I had a 4.3 weighted GPA and a 4.0 unweighted GPA when I applied to Spelman and straight A's. So, I will say that you don't have to have the perfect GPA or the perfect grades. Don't stress it. Like, if you're applying now, honestly, there's nothing you can really change because the grades are already done. And again, Spelman looks at your application holistically, so your application can balance out. So don't feel like you need to be perfect. The next thing I would say that is very important to your application is your extracurricular activities and your community service. So Spelman loves seeing like you participate in activities and also community service. However, do not participate in activities you don't like or don't overload yourself with extracurricular activities because it can be a lot. And so the extracurricular activities and my community service that I list on my application, I'll go through them and like, I think I still have like, I think I asked how many weeks you participate in it. So I'll go through all of that and like, if they ask hours and all of that. So I'll go through all of that. I'll go through all of my extracurricular activities and also my community service. So the first extracurricular activity I have is student government. So I was a member of student council for four years. Also, I participated in choir. And so I had, did that all four years as well. I participated in pep club my sophomore and junior year. And so for my community service, um, I tutored students and I tutored students my junior and my senior year. And I tutored students inside and outside of school. Also was my class president. So I listed that as well. And you can also list jobs. So I listed my job and I worked at AMC 9th and 10th grade year. And I also have my own business. So I listed that as well. And I listed that from, cause I started my sophomore year. So I listed sophomore year all the way to senior year because I still had my business and I was also working on that. Another community service activity that I participated in was babysitting. I picked my niece up every day after school for a few months and like watched her until my sister got off. So I listed that as well. And I also did a program at my school called Schools with Heart. 
and that was just basically a program to make sure everyone in school felt safe and I did that 11th and 12th grade and that's all the list that's all the activities I listed you can only list 10 on the comment app so if you're applying to spell me you're gonna go through the comment app and so those are the 10 I listed through the comment app the last part of your application is your personal essay and so you want to make sure that in your essay you tell the school about yourself so this is the time to tell them anything that you could not tell them and through your grades and community service activities so i will say you should start on your essay early so that you can have different people look over it i wrote three different essays and i had multiple people look over it including my teacher my friends and peers and also college students so i would definitely so yeah have as many people look over it as you can and just make sure that you tell them you know what you want them to know about yourself thank you for watching my video make sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends also if you have any more questions regarding you know the whole application process and whatnot i'll be putting my social media accounts in the description box and i will also put my email there so if you need help with anything college related feel free to email me or dm me on any of my social medias so thank y'all for watching don't forget to subscribe and comment more videos that y'all want i think i'm going to do a cap of my summer program experience because i did participate in the wisdom program as filming this past summer so i'll be putting i'll be making a video on that whole experience and i also might do like a week in the life of a virtual college student you know so so be on the lookout for more videos if you have any videos you would like to see from me please comment them i'm going to be more active on my youtube channel